Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today our protagonist is a power strip made by Anchor. It's a UK power strip with 18 volts USB-C. He continues the blue and white of Anchor style. There are some product features and other information on the back. Open the box, we can see it adopts the traditional shape and the plastic shell is matte. Here is the grey power button and there are two indicator lights next to it. The surge protection is printed here which means it can support this function. The AC pins are UK standard and one USB-C and two USB-A are on the other side and adopt anchor blue. Here is the product info, model is A9136. It supports input of 250 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 13 amp. Output of USB-C is 18 volts. Output of USB-A is 12 volts. Surge protection is 6 kV. Voltage protection level is 1.5 kV. Maximum operating voltage is 255 volts AC. It has passed the UKCA and C certification. The specs of power cord is 3G 1.5 square millimeter, 300 and 500 volts. The plug integrates fuse and also adopts the UK standard. The power cord length is about 2 meters and the length of socket is about 32 centimeters. Width is 6.2 centimeters. Thickness is 2.7 centimeters. Weight is 596.8 grams. Use charger lab power ZKT002 to test the USB ports. Both USB-A can support Apple 2.4 amp, Samsung 5 volts 2 amp DCB particles, and USB-C supports Apple 2.4 amp, Samsung 5 volts 2 amp DCB particles, and QC23, AFC, FCP, PE2, PD3 fast charging particles. The PDL of USB-C is 5 volts 3 amp and 9 volts 2 amp. Then let's use the 18 volts USB-C to charge some devices. Next, let's tear it down. Remove the screws and open the bottom shell. The left input joint is fixed by two screws. Three AC sockets adopt three copper strips to connect to the live, neutral, and ground wire respectively. The PCB of USB ports is also fixed by screws. Remove the right PCB. There are apparent gaps between front components and the bridge rectifier master control chip and synchronous rectifier are on the PCB spec. The specs of time delay fuse is 2M, 250 volts. The common mode choke is used to filter out EMI interference. The NTC thermistor is used to suppress inrush current. Three electrolytic capacitors come from NG, 400 volts, 15 microfarad. The transformer comes from Huntkey. Two solid capacitors come from APAQ, 16 volts, 330 microfarad. The other electrolytic capacitor is also from NG, 400 volts, 15 microfarad, and the other transformer is also from Huntkey. The third solid capacitor is 6.3 volts, 1000 microfarad. This is the first non-MCU and QC5 certified protocol chip. Model is iSmartWare SW2303. It has high integration and can support USB-C and USB-A. This is the output VBUS MOSFET and this is the RABS210 bridge rectifier. The mass control chip comes from Onbright OB2631U. It integrates PWM controller and MOSFET. It is also optimized for high performance, low power consumption switching power supply. The secondary synchronous rectifier adopts Onbright OB2004AX. It integrates MOSFET and supports output of 3 to 12 volts. The master control chip of USB-A circuit adopts chip M PN8386. It consists of a low standby power quasi-resonant primary side controller and a 650 volts Avalanche rugged smart power VD MOSFET, specifically designed for high-performance AC-DC chargers. This is the synchronous rectifier from Chipem PN8306H. It integrates MOSFET and can support DCM and QR working modes. It also provides under voltage protection over voltage clamping. This is automatic identification IC of 2 USB, 
Mudley's Semi High UC2634. Finally, let's solder the wires back. And everything has been restored. So after taking it apart, we found that the USB-C and USB-A adopted two independent circuits, which ensure the USB-C can fully output. The USB-C circuit adopts on bright components and iSmart Wear protocol chip, and the USB-A circuit adopts chip and components. Both circuits adopt the Anshi capacitor, so the overall quality is pretty nice. Okay, that's all for today's teardown video. You can click the corners to view the teardown videos of other power strips. Please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us if you're interested in our video. See you next time.